Wars at 6. Well, each year the Salvation Army gets thousands of dollars worth of donations during its Red Kettle campaign. Usually people donate spare change, maybe a few bucks. Some make more generous contributions. But now for the 10th year in a row, a gold coin worth about $1,300 made its way into one of those Red Kettles. And as Four New Corners' Lisa Greenberg tells you, this was a much-needed donation. Huh, Lisa? Patrick, Amy, Major Tim Gillum tells me this is the 10th year this has happened. Someone anonymously drops in a pricey gold coin, then goes on their way. But he says just because this has been going on for every year for the last 10 years doesn't mean the Salvation Army is any less excited about it. I've only heard of this legend, and to actually happen um, under my watch was quite exciting. I haven't been able to stop smiling since. Major Tim Gillum tells me when he got the call about the coin this morning, his heart was pounding. It's his first year as the Salvation Army's area commander for Lee, Hendry, and Glades counties, and he'd always heard about the mysterious donor of the gold coin, but to finally experience it himself? My first question was, can I hold the coin? Um, I've never held a gold coin uh, before, so this was my first experience. For the last 10 years, a gold coin has been dropped into the red kettles, always accompanied by a note, in loving memory of Mimi. This year's coin in Augustus St. Gaudens is worth around $1,300, and Gillum says the coin couldn't have come at a better time. We were slightly down compared to where we were this date last year, um, but as of this morning, we're at about 30% of our goal for the season. They still have a ways to go, but the coin certainly helps the Salvation Army reach its fundraising goal of $650,000. And as for who the anonymous donor is, well, Gillum has some guesses. I think it's a, a person who was touched by the Salvation Army in some way. And, uh, and I think that in loving memory of whoever Mimi is, this is a way to contribute back and give back to the Salvation Army. Multi-year volunteer Merrill Conrad found the coin for the second year in a row. This year inside the kettle at the Colonial Crossings Publix. He was worried that rumors were going to start circulating that it was him dropping it in since he's found it two years in a row. The Salvation Army overjoyed by the donation, thankful for the anonymous donor, and also the beloved Mimi. Whoever Mimi is, I say God bless her. Now, Gillum tells me the Salvation Army is always looking for volunteers, so if you're interested in volunteering, you can call the organization at 239-278. 1551. And of course, if you'd like to help them reach their $650,000 goal, the Salvation Army encourages you to drop any spare change you have in one of the red kettles or head to foxfornow.com to see other ways you can donate. Live in the studio, Lisa Greenberg, Fox 4, in your corner.